This morning, as you let the dog out to do his business, be aware that many of us live in areas with wildlife that carry pretty serious diseases. Bacteria like plague live on hosts like prairie dogs, putting you and Fido at risk. But up until now, it's been extremely difficult to vaccinate these rodents. Denver 7's Mike Iliopoulos tells us how this all works. Meet one of the researchers behind it all. I was hired to basically adapt a carp bait making machine to make prairie dog vaccine baits. Lucia Cora works with a team in this small lab. They're producing tiny bait balls. We went from cutting these baits in little squares by hand with a knife to making them in 4,000 dose batches. Now these will eventually be spread out in open land for prairie dogs to eat. Dan Tripp is a wildlife disease researcher. Well, they're a really key part of the ecosystem. Uh, prairie dogs are considered to be a, a keystone species, which means that there are many species of wildlife that depend on prairie dogs. Lots of peanut butter. Some water, peanut butter, gelatin, blue dye, so the prairie dogs can see the balls better, and a vaccine. It's all mixed together and sent through this bait-making machine. They can make hundreds of thousands of these balls in a week. Plague is not a native pathogen to Colorado. It first was introduced into Colorado in the 1940s, and it is uh, devastating our uh, native wildlife populations. Now the goal is to make as many as possible at an affordable, faster rate, keeping the plague out and the prairie dog population alive. Reporting in Fort Collins, Mike Leopolis, Denver 7. Now, researchers say these bait balls are not harmful to other animals.